How is it going, fellas on YouTube? Yes, I have a tutorial for you today, and it really has to do with your computer with a build, okay? My memory card reader, my internal memory card reader that I added when I built this computer actually decided to crap out on me. This thing was like 12 bucks when I bought it, so uh, I kind of expect, you know, you get what you pay for. Although these things are relatively cheap uh, right off, you know, right off the bat, so whatever. But these are really cool to have, <clears throat> really cool to have. Basically, if you have like a memory card or something for your camera, if you're a big YouTuber or whatever, you just take the memory card out, you don't have to hook up any USB cables, just slap it in there in the little slot and it's good to go. Uh, I think this memory card reader reads up to like 17 different cards. This one that I bought is a Sony, just came in today, uh, reads a ton of different cards as well. So whatever, it's really good to have an internal memory card reader if you have a custom build. Um, just for whatever reasons, you know? So anyways, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's swap this out. First thing you wanna do is actually shut down your computer and make sure it's turned off. So I'm gonna do that right now. Start, shut down. Yes, so, see you in a bit. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and locate the power switch in the back of your case and switch it to the off position. And then after that, you wanna go ahead and unplug the power cord from your case. And then what you want to do is actually take these screws off from the back of your case to the side panel and take the side panel off. I actually have a couple case fans connected to the side panel, so I'm just going to disconnect those. So be aware that you don't want to pull the, the side panel off like crazy, just rip it off. You want to be careful in case anything is connected to it. And then, uh, of course, after that, you want to plug the uh, fans back in when you put the case side, put the side panel back on. So here is inside of the computer. You can see the motherboard and everything. What we're going to look for is the USB slots right there, the internal USB slots. So let's go ahead and get a closer look. So here are the three internal USB slots, those blue slots there. You can even read under them it says USB. Uh, you want to be careful to not plug in the USB into this red slot here. Uh, you know, read your motherboard. Make sure you know what you're plugging these things into because you don't want to mess up your, your computer. You know, you mean you put so much money into this thing. Just read the manual. Trust me. Don't ruin anything. And just go over everything twice. Make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Okay, so this one right here is what my memory card reader is actually plugged into. So I'm going to actually swap that one out. Take that one out and uh, we'll go from there. So there you go, it is out just like that, you just kind of pull it out. Uh, very simple, very, very simple. And now you can actually read a lot more clear the USB letters under that slot. So there you go. Now I'm going to feed this cable out of my case so we can start the extract extraction process. So there we go, the wire is now taken out. And all we have to do now is like unscrew the screws that are keeping the memory card reader inside of the case nice and sturdy. So let's go ahead and start unscrewing those things. Okay, so there we go. I took one screw out just from right there. And, uh, you know, now I have to turn around and take the other screw out from the other side. So it means I'm going to have to take the other side panel off. Uh, but anyways, your case might be different the way you take your... Uh, your memory card reader out if you have one already I mean, you may have switches you may have something else so just be aware of that not every case looks the same in my case I have buttons as well as screws so keep that in mind okay so now the both of the screws are out and all I have to do is pop this piece out and uh, we're good to go so there we go, that is the 3.5 inch memory card reader, internal memory card reader that we have taken out. Now you'll notice I have brackets on it like right here. Those brackets actually came with my case. Your case should come with them if it supports 3.5 inch uh, a peripheral to be inserted into the case. So there you go. Now all I have to do is unscrew these uh, screws to take the bracket off and put it onto the new memory card reader. So here is the new internal memory card, I put the brackets on it and now all we have to do is put this into the case. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay so I don't know why I did this when, when making this video and I actually put it in through the inside. Uh, the best thing to do is actually pop off the little front cap 
off your case and then push it into your case okay from the front I don't know why I didn't do that in this video but that's that's the best way to do it um, so yeah now the cord on this reader is actually quite small so I'm going to actually feed it through and uh, insert it into the closest USB slot. Okay, so all I'm doing is now just uh, swapping out the USB slot from one, putting the, that one into a different slot, and then I'm gonna grab the uh, short cable from the new reader and put it into that first slot. That's all I'm doing right there, in case you're wondering. Okay, so here's the front of the case, and all I'm gonna do is actually push in the memory card reader uh, into the case a little bit more to make it a little flush, just like that. And then from here, what I do is I actually click the button right here, boom, on my case, and that locks it in place just like that. We see if it wiggles, it still wiggles some, so I still have to screw in some screws to uh, tie it down. This way it doesn't rattle when uh, the computer is on. So that's what I'm doing right here. Just uh, gonna screw in the screws that I unscrewed. <laughs> well, that's a lot of screws oh, that I unscrewed earlier. Okay, and now what I do is go ahead and put my side panel back on. And remember, I have those case fans, so what I'm going to do is just plug those in before I'm uh, before I completely close it, and we should be all good to go from there. Okay, one last thing I wanted to show you, of course, was it working. So here's my memory card. I'm just going to plug it into the appropriate slot. Okay, just throw it in there. The light will turn on, and then right away, it works on my computer. I can open the folder to view files. And it works, unlike my other memory card reader, which wasn't working properly. So there you go. Um, I successfully installed a internal memory card, or at least replaced one. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. Remember to thumb up, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you liked my content in any way. Uh, if you're interested in watching another tutorial from me, go ahead and click this annotation. Bye.